Hey everyone, welcome to the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name's Melissa and I'm coming to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Sunday, April 10th. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new here, I'd like to say welcome and let you know that this channel is about knitting, crochet, and yarn. And if you're returning, I'd like to say welcome back. So first I want to apologize. It's been three weeks since I did my last podcast. My goal is to do these every week on Sunday and well it just didn't happen uh last sunday i was sick there was a stomach bug that went through my house and everybody got it and i got it on sunday so it was like 24 hour type thing but i didn't even get out of bed at all that day i was so i felt so miserable and then the week before that i did um do a i did film a video but um I had technical difficulties and I don't know what I did, but I ended up deleting the video, like permanently deleting it. And I was just so frustrated. I was just, I was like, I, I'm not doing this again. I'm right now. I'll just have to wait till next week. This sometimes is hard to fit in videos during the week. I get busy and sometimes I just have a hard time. So, but I thought, you know, I'll just do it next week, not knowing I was going to get sick. So that's where I've been and I apologize. And last, well, one more thing I want to mention is that I have a giveaway going on my channel right now, and I will pick the winner on April 22nd. It is for my subscribers, and I'm giving away some yarn from my stash. I have been cleaning up my craft room and reorganizing my yarn, and I gathered up some yarn that um, I just knew I probably will not use, and I thought I would share it with y'all. So I will pick that winner on April 22nd. And just so you know, it is not new yarn that I bought from the store, but it is new. It's never been used. None of it's ever been used. They are new skeins. It's just from my stash. So some of the yarns are a bit, you know, they're not brand new yarns, but they're, they're all lovely. And I hope that you find, if you, you know, find something you might like and that you'll enter the giveaway. So it is for my subscribers and um, so please make sure when I pick the winner on Friday that I can see on April 22nd, which is a Friday, please make sure that I can see that you're subscribed to my channel. I know a lot of people, it might be your preference to keep your subscriptions private. So maybe just for that day, you could have it public um, so that I can see that you're subscribed because this is for my subscribers. Because I do appreciate y'all so much. I say it all the time, but I really do. And so I just want to make sure it's, you know, this goes to a subscriber. So is there anything else? So you just go on that video, uh, watch the video and comment on that video and give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and I will pick a winner. So if you're interested, go on over and check it out and I, I'll say good luck to everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. So since it's been three weeks, I have a lot to show you. So this may be a bit of a long podcast. I have some finished objects, some works in progress, and some acquisitions. Yep, I bought more yarn. I sure did. So I guess we should get on with it because, like I said, this will be long. So I have three finished objects to share with you. So let's get into them now. So the first finished object are my socks. I've been working on these for a little while now. So you've seen them before if you've watched past episodes and they were works in progress and now they're finished here they are and this these are the austin socks by k of the crazy cat the crazy sock lady i nearly say crazy cat lady the crazy sock lady and it's a free pattern on ravelry and here they are so i do my socks magic loop um but i pretty much followed the pattern exactly as she said uh, I think I might have done, I usually only prefer um, to do, I prefer to do a two by two rib and 15 rounds on the cuff. So that might have been the only thing I changed, but I did everything else the same. So you can, can you see a bit of the pattern? Um, I really like them a lot. I know that the, um, you can't see the pattern, you know, because it's because of the, the nature of the, you know, the colors of the sock, but it, I, it gives it such a nice texture. I'm, I really love these. So here they are. And I did a heel flapping gusset, which I don't normally do. And oh, it takes forever. 
compared to an afterthought heel. So here they are. So I used Magic Loop. Um, my needle size is 2.25 millimeter and I use a 30 inch cord. So there they are and this is the yarn and I've lost the ball band but it is Vintage Superba. So this is how much I have left. So I've got a good amount left. I am really, um, I've really got to decide what to do with all of my, um, I have a lot of scraps, sock yarn scraps. I got to do something with them. I mean, I have a lot. So there is that. Um, I don't know much about the yarn. I lost the yarn label. It is, I believe it's 75% wool, 25% nylon, somewhere around there. And it's not really the softest sock yarn. Like it's not soft like the um, Knit Picks Felici, but I really, really, something about the yarn I really liked working with. So there is that. Those are done. And now I can wear them. Okay, where am I gonna put stuff? Oh, I'll put that over there. So my next finished object is a crocheted hat. Let me get it. It is the, it is the Belliver hat. This is Tapestry Crochet, and it's by Catherine Nerona. And it's a paid for pattern on Ravelry. Um, I don't know where I, when you, I bought the pattern, um, it comes with the cowl and the hat, and I've done them both. I don't know where the cowl is right now, but the last time you saw this hat, it was a works in progress, and now it is finished. So basically, you pay for the pattern, you get to, you get, you you know, you get two patterns for one price. So it's pretty good. So here is the hat. Here is the hat. I love how it turned out. I wish I had the cowl over here so you could see them together. They look really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to save it. Um, obviously, it's, you know, too warm to wear a hat and cowl now. But I will save this and... You know, uh, you know, probably gift it to somebody either for a birthday or Christmas or something. That's probably what I'm going to do. So here's the hat. And then this is one of those snap-on pom-poms. And let's see. The yarn that I used, this is what I have left of these two colors. This is what I have left. Um... I have this much left. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember how much I used in total for both of them, but I want to say it was a ball and a half of each of these yarns is about what I used to make the cowl and the hat. And this yarn is from Hobium. It is the Gazal Rock and Roll. Um, they just have color, the, they don't have color, they don't have names, color names, they just have color numbers, um, for the, for the yarn. <clears throat> so let's see, so, okay, it is 21% acrylic, 70% polyamide, and 9% lana merino. It is, they are, they come in 50 gram skeins, and it is 125 yards. Uh, yes, so then that's the label, and these are the yarns, and what hook did I use? Oh, yes, I used a four millimeter crochet hook on that. So there is that finished object. Yes, see, I did use, see, I have all the ball bands. So I used, um, yeah, about one and a half but that was for the cowl and the hat, so pretty good. And one last look. It's so pretty. I love it. This yarn, I will tell you, though, um, it does not frog very easily. It doesn't frog easily at all. So, and how do I know? Because I make a lot, plenty of mistakes. And my last finished object is um, I did a... Um, a crochet along or a make along really because she had crochet and knit on um 
um, crochet creations by Christy. She does a live on Sundays and she does like she has um, make alongs during the lives and then they'll last for, you know, three, well, I think this one lasted three weeks and she gave us a shawl pattern that she wrote and that's what I did. She also had an option to do knitting, but I opted to do the crochet and it is finished. So this is, yes, she also had, well, she has a YouTube channel, obviously, but she also has a Facebook group and, um, you could, um, she does a lot of, uh, crochet alongs on that or make alongs on that as well. And I will link her channel and her Facebook page down below. So here this is, it's finished. Here it is. So I haven't blocked this or anything. I don't think it, um, I don't think I would really block it any rate. I would probably just wash it. And then um, I sometimes will hang it over. I have a drying rack and just kind of like hang it over like that, you know, and then kind of gravity will kind of do its thing. Cause I don't really think it's, it's it, it, it's not really, I don't think it really needs to be blocked any rate. Just washed to soften it up and stuff. So here it is. And this really cute border, whoops, that she had put on here. So, and I just thought, um, kind of, it's, you know, spring. And these just sort of reminded me of spring. So I thought I would do that. So I'm pretty sure if you go on her Facebook page, um, if you're interested in making this, um, and, well, I'll, I'll say that in a second, but you can go on her Facebook page and under the, um, I don't know if it's called announcements anymore, but anyway, she has a post for the shawl and she has the pattern in the post if you were interested in making it. But what I was gonna say, it's very easy pattern. It's it's really nice to crochet. It's relaxing. It was relaxing and um, you could do any weight of yarn with this. And I thought of really a stash buster for this, um, using some bulky weight yarn to see what that would come out like. I don't know if I would use I don't know if I would use anything too thin because, you know, that's going to take longer. But this is a DK and the yarn, this is the yarn. It is the Baby Bee Sweet Delight. Um, and I the colorway is Snuggle. I, this I got at um, one of the big clearance, um, one of the big clearance, you know, Hobby Lobby does clearance yarn at the end. Ours is in August. I don't know if this was last year. I got this yarn the year before. I'm not really sure. But anyway, so like I said, it's a DK. It's 115 grams, 377 yards, 60% acrylic, 40% polyamide. And I use, the crochet hook I used was a six millimeter crochet hook. So I just thought about doing this in some you know, um, some bulky weights, worsted weights. So there's that. So that is all of my finished objects. And I have a lot of works in progress and I have some stuff that I have, that, that I've started that you haven't seen. I couldn't help myself. I want to put my crochet hooks away because I love these. I don't want to lose them. So I'm going to put these away, straight away. So I keep them in my little... Okay, so did I tell you how many works in progress I have? I have seven. Yep, sure do. I couldn't help myself. So where should we start? Okay, so I don't even know if... I think there's only one that you've seen before. <laughs> Where do I start? Okay, well, we'll just start here. So this here, this is in my Cottontail Farms bag. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I love her bags. Isn't that beautiful? Look how nice these bags are. And they've got a little handle here. 
and it's like drawstring. It's really, really nice bags. So this is, this is a MCAL that's long ended, Start, you know, but I am, I'm enjoying it very much. So the M MCAL is called um, As You Wish, An Inconceivable MCAL, and it's by Mary Annarella with Lyrical Knits, and it ended in March, and well, anyway, here's what I have done so far. So there are five clues. I'm still on the first clue. I did show this one time before. I hadn't gotten much done. So this is what I have done so far. It looks a little messy because there's like a lot going on. There's, so here, I'll do it this way. So here is what, here it's what it looks like. It looks weird. It looks strange. So here it is. So it's going to be like a wrap, like a long rectangle. And I think the last time I had, I had, that I showed you, I had, uh, was at this pink line. So everything past that pink line, like this section here, I did that. And then I'm over here now on this section. And so it's, I don't have a pic. There's obviously not an actual picture of the pattern because it was MCAL. I don't know if they'll change that, but um, it's paid for. It's paid for on Ravelry. You can look and then you can see everybody else's um, beautiful um, wraps. They're gorgeous. So you do this on two needles. Yes, there's two sets of needles here. So there's one on this side and they kind of hold the yarn and you work on this section. And I got this, I heard about this through Gina at the Knitting Turnpike because she does a lot of um, MCALs and stuff like that. I never, I don't hear about them as often, probably, um, yeah, I don't hear about them as often. So she, she started doing this and hers is beautiful. I was like, I have to do that. Even though I started halfway through the MCAL but that's okay. So there it is. And these needles here are um, four millimeter on the 32 inch cord. I'm using my chow goose. Yeah, so that's what they suggest and it is that you use two needles instead of putting um, and you know stitches on a, on a you know waist yarn or something when you're working on the other side. So I believe, you know, it's going to go, I'm pretty sure it's going to go like this and it'll just be a long rectangular wrap. Okay, let's see. So the yarn that I'm using, I, there's four skeins of yarn to use. And I am, here are my yarns. And here they are. So I haven't used this, this one here, this one that I'm pointing to with my pink. I haven't used that one yet. But all these yarns come from Big Sky Yarn Company. Here's their label. And the yarn is, um, this is on their Star Sock Base. 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. And it's their 463 yards for 100 grams. So this one is called Powder Room, that one. This one, I haven't used this one yet. This is called Mr. Beam. There's that one. And this one is called, let's see, Japanese Maple. I love this one so much. I want to, I don't know if they have any more on the website, but I'd like to get another skein of this. I love it. Look at it. Look at it worked up. I love it. I want to get more of that. And then the last one 
is called granite. It's this one. So those are the yarns for that. Here they are together. And these two go are supposed to go or contrast each other, but I may be, I'm not sure, M might not have been a great, I, I think it's fine, but they don't contrast as much as I thought they would. And then these two, they said, make sure that these two yarns con contrast each other. So see, it's kind of, I don't know, I think it'll be fine. It's just, it's not really, they, these, it's not necessarily standing out as much because the pink almost blends in with it. And then maybe this is a little too variegated. I don't know. I think it's okay. I still think it looks pretty. So that is that works in progress. Oh, well, you have, yes. So there's two you have seen. You have seen that one. Um, just a very beginning of it. And then, let's see. Um, I don't know if I, I'll show it just to get it over with. So I am still working on my, um, cable trellis shawl by Stephen West. I'll show that real quick. You've seen this a million times. It's getting big and heavy. This is in another Cottontail Farms bag. I'll just show it, get it out the way. Oh, I just don't feel like working on it. I, I just don't feel like working on it. So I am getting there though. So how can I show this? So here it is. Just try to untangle some of the yarn. Here it is. I don't know what you can see. I can't see anything. So here it is. It's getting there. So this is, so that's where I was. So I did that much. It's beautiful. I can't wait for it to be done. I, I really love it. The look of it. I'm just want to start working on other things so there it is and then the yarn or the needles i'm using are um 4.5 millimeter i have it on a 47 inch cord and then here are the yarns here are the yarns and this is apothecary the blue one is apothecary fabrications and it's a DK and then this one is Lang Frida Merino Extra Fine Superwash so there's that one neither one of them have colorway names so that's what it's all I have left it's getting close he does say something about and if you need to use this yarn, because there's a border that is supposed to be in this color, he does tell you, like, it's okay if you have to use some of this yarn for the border. So, because you might run out of this, and I think I might. So, that's good. So, at least I know there's, you know, a way to, around that. So, there we go. So that's a paid for pattern on Ravelry. All right, and so there's that one out of the way. So my next one is, this is new. And this is in my tea dottles bag. I love, I really like drawstring bags. Isn't that pretty? Look at it. So this is a new, you haven't seen this. This is a knit cowl. And I'll show you the pattern first. 
so you can't actually yeah, I bought this as a kit you can't buy the pattern um, if they don't sell it on Ravelry anymore but it is the Crooked U Cowl by Paula Amon's Fusel. And here's the cowl. But like I said, you can't buy it on Ravelry anymore. I bought it um, as a kit with the yarn from um, Barrett, Barrett Wool Company. Um, it's Susan B. Anderson's company. She sells a lot of amigur um, knit amigurumis or knit stuffies. And yarn to, you know, she sells a lot of kits and stuff, but mainly for like um, knit amigurumis or knit stuffies. But she does have some yarn on her website or yes, on her website as well. And um, I actually started another one of her patterns. I'll show you that. And so I bought this as a kit and I think she sells this yarn on her website. I think this is one of the yarns she sells, but the yarn is the... Wisconsin Woolen Spun Even Fall. And it is 450 yards, 115 grams. It's a fingering weight. And the, co the colorway is Penny Gradient. And what does it say? It's 100% American wool. So here it is. Here it is very rustic i love it and here is the cowl so far okay oh, i wish i had some i gotta get some needle stoppers so i can kind of show you sorry 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 i just want to show you um the cowl and i don't want anything to fall off Okay, here we go. So here it is. This is the cowl. And there is the, here's what it looks like. It's very easy, very, very easy. Um, but I, I'm loving it. I'm loving working on this. So see the pattern? So there is the cowl. And I don't know about, I'm trying to think, I'm sure it will black out some, but I think it's just going to curl up a bit and it's fine. It's going to be a bit, quite a big cowl. So let's see that. There's the stitch pattern for that. And the needles I'm using, these are my Haya Haya Sharps. Um, I can't see it on here. Is it four millimeter? Yeah, four millimeter. And I think this is on a 24 inch cord. Oh, I love it. Isn't it pretty? I love it. So it will eventually, you know, get to, it'll, you know, change colors, which I don't believe it's done that yet. So I'm really loving this. I, I like, I, lo I love this. I love working on this. And it's very easy. Um, and the pattern is really good. Um, unfortunately, like I said, you can't buy the pattern anymore. It just came with the kit. Um, but it's really good. They have it even mapped out to where you can... Um, like, I'll just show you. Well, no, I don't want to show you. But they have it mapped. They have it all written out so you can just check off what you've done. Like, kind of like like that and they you just check it off when you've done that repeat so it comes that comes in real handy so there is that works in progress alrighty it seems to be very knit heavy yeah um Okay, well, this is crochet. This is this is my, this is from Knit for Brains. Um, this is just um, this is a uh, this is crochet. This 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 is just something I like to use in my kitchen. 
Um, I made some of them last year and they come in really handy. It's a, like a placemat. See it? It's like a placemat. It's a big one, but I, we use it over by the coffee pot and the teapot so that we can, um, it kind of helps, you know, keep the mess off the counters. And it just comes in handy to just lay this there where we make our coffee and tea. Because we, my husband and I drink a ridiculous amount of coffee and tea. He's English, so he drinks plenty of tea as well. But he really loves coffee. And I drink a lot of tea in the day. So here is that. And this is just, oh, I think I, I, think I chained 50. And it's just half double crochets and until I run out of the yarn and that'll be it and then I'll put a little bit of a border around it and the yarn and I'm using five millimeter crochet hook and this yarn is I have like all kinds of yarn in here because I do like the scraps as well so I don't even know where this is let's see I'm not sure where this is. I don't know. Because I have all these scraps in here. Um, let's see if I can tell by the colorway. I think it's Lily Sugar and Cream. Um, it's 100% cotton. And it is 85 grams, 150 yards. And the colorway, I think it's saying, is Soleil Ombre. So I'm thinking that might be that. But I know it's a Lily Sugar and Cream. I'm almost, I know that that's what it is. I just don't know which yarn label. Because I've got all kinds of, like, scraps. Because I make scrappy ones, too. So there's that. These come in dead handy. It helps keep the counter clean. So there is that works in progress. And let's see. Yeah, this is going to be long. All right, and now, since I finished those socks, I started a new sock. Is this, wait, wait a minute. Okay, that's not the sock. I'll show that in a sec. So this is in, um, this is Molly Klein Designs bag. Isn't it pretty? And this is my new sock. This is a free pattern on Ravelry. And it is called the Will of the Wisp sock. Do you see that? I don't think I showed. I don't think. No, I, could, I don't think so. So Will of the Wisp sock. And here is what I have so far. Um, you can really see the pattern. And you see the pattern? Because these stupid stitch markers are in the way. But here's the pattern. And the stitch marker just represents, um, every time I start a new repeat, um, it's just a chart. Um, it's just a chart, but um, I think it's a 12 row repeat. Yeah, and it's just, it's just a chart. So here it is. And they're knit cuff down, obviously. And I just do that so that when I do my second sock, I will know how many repeats I've done. And the yarn that I'm using is a knit picks yarn and it's a little it's awful pretty, but it's weird because it almost feels like it's got cotton in it. It's a strange feeling. And let's see, it is the Hawthorne fingering weight and the colorway is Spark Speckle, 357 yards, 100 grams. And it's super fine. It's 80% super wash fine Highland wool and 20% polyamide. Yes. And it just, it's, it's feels nice. It's not rough. It's just, 
it just feels like it's there is like a cotton blend it just sort of feels like there's a bit of cotton in it see it just doesn't really even stretch as much as I don't know might not have been the best choice for socks but yeah I don't know but anyway I'm I'm not stopping now so I'm using 2.25, that's why I always, 2.25 millimeter, that's what I always use for my socks. Um, these are my Addy Rockets and on the 32 inch cord. So I think that's it. That is it and I'm not sure. Um, so this calls, this heel, this is another heel flapping gusset. I'm really thinking um, I'm just going to do an afterthought heel I don't really like doing heel flap and gusset only because, well, two things, it takes too long. Second thing is I don't, I have to like go and look at a pattern because I don't do them that often. So I can't ever just remember how to do it. Um, I don't mind picking up stitches or any of that stuff. The decreases though, when you're decreasing after you do the heel, the, you know, the heel flap and all that, and you're decreasing, that takes forever. And Seriously, afterthought heel is really, really easy and very quick. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm probably going to do that. And I think I'm just about ready to start the heel. Put my, uh, put in um, stitch markers for, where, to mark where I want the heel. Because I don't like my socks too, too long. So that is all of that one. And... Then I have a knit hat. This is my next works in progress. And this is um, this is in another Cottontail Farm bag. And this is, I'm knitting this hat because, well, I like to knit hats. But um, Crochet Creations by Christy on her Facebook page. One of the challenges she has is to knit a hat or knit or crochet a hat every month. Um, and you can win prizes and I really just do it for the challenge and stuff. So this is just a basic vanilla hat. Um, just, I need, I need to get a hat done to, for the month of April. And so, yeah, I started it and here it is. It's just a vanilla hat. I think I cast it on 84 stitches. I think so, but here it is. Here's the hat and his beautiful yarn and my stitch marker from the lemonade shop. Yep, so there it is so far. Isn't that pretty yarn? So this yarn is from Hobium and it is super, super soft. I would love to get more of this yarn. And this is called Etrafil Hand Knitting Yarns, Baby Cashmere. This is the label. It doesn't really have much cashmere in it, but it is um, not 10% uh, cashmere, 90% polyamide, 100 grams, 225 meters. So that is that. And I don't know the colorway. I don't even know. The, oh, the color number is EL111. And this is made in Turkey. It is unreal how soft it is. And look, it's just beautiful. I need another hat. I had one. It was sort of a pinkish color with like the speckles. But I do. I want to like, next time I do a Hobia mortar, which, you know, ugh, but I'm definitely going to be getting more of this. Uh, you, I don't even know that they even still sell it. I hope they do. It comes in, I don't even, it comes in a hank, I think. Yeah, because that's why I have it caked up. Um, but I had, had it caked up for a while. I was going to make something with this yarn a while back and didn't like it and just put the yarn back. But there it is. It's beautiful. Oh, I love the look of it. It is so soft. Oh. So the needles I'm using, I used... <clears throat> excuse me, a four millimeter needle for the brim. I do a two by two ribbing. And then for the body of the hat, I'm using 4.5 millimeter. And these are my chow goos. 
<clears throat> so there's that. I think that's everything. It's getting really warm in this room. All right. Oh, I gotta hurry up. Okay, so my last works in progress. This is in my Matter Root bag. <coughs> is a, <coughs> a kit that I got from Barrett Wool Company. By it's the pattern is by Susan B. Anderson. It's called the Love Owls. Aren't they cute? I bought this sometime last year, and I finally got it out. So like I said, so it's a knit amigurumi or knit stuffy, like I said before. She sells a lot of kits like these. I don't, I think a lot of her kits go, um, like, they're, I don't, I think a lot of them are out of stock now. They don't last long, but she's got a lot of patterns on there, and she's got the yarn to use for it. And this yarn here, oh, this, this yarn, I am in love with this yarn. But anyway, let me just show you what I have so far. <clears throat> I am using DPNs. So here it is so far. So the idea is just you knit the body of the owl and then all of the things, like I'm doing the big owl, this owl here. So and then you add on all these embellishments <coughs> after it's knit. And that's the one I'm knitting. So here it is. This, this wool. Oh, so feels, here it is. It feels one way like this. Not like, not like, <coughs> not rough or anything like that. But it's not, excuse me, it's not super soft. But as you're knitting with it, it this is so soft now. I love it. Oh, I want to get a bunch of it. And like I'm using DPNs, who knew? Because the hardest part of the whole thing <coughs> is this, starting on this. You cast on very few stitches and then you work out and that's a pain in the butt. And I've done it on Magic Loop on other patterns and that's no fun either. And I actually don't, I love to use Magic Loop on my socks I enjoy it, but I don't actually like to use Magic Loop on a lot of other things. <clears throat> so I said, I'm going to get some DPNs, which I don't have a lot of DPNs, so I ordered these. And I'm going to do it like the pattern says. Oh, I got a scratch in my throat now. So I got DPNs. <clears throat> and I got wooden ones because I was afraid I don't want them to slip off. These are really nice. I'm really, really enjoying using these DPNs. Who knew? I mean, I really am. Usually I stay far away. <coughs> so the yarn is Home Worsted Weight 100% American Wool. I'm pretty sure it's sell, she, this is still being sold on her website. And the colorway is Picket Fence. It's 230 yards, 100 grams. And yep, it's, it's Worsted Weight 100% American Wool. <clears throat> picket fence and then I have these other I don't really know if they didn't come with colorways I'm sure they have colorways on the <clears throat> oh, so they, they're here are the other yarns for the embellishment to put onto the owl there is that and then the DPNs I'm using Knitter's Pride Dreams and they are 3.75 so this this is just using four of the DPNs. You don't use all five. And yeah, it's coming out fine. I'm really enjoying working with DPNs. I mean, like I, I, I'm not really worked with DPNs that much. Like I've, I've used them like for the top of a hat or I don't even think I've really done it for a sleeve, but usually there's already like knitting, established knitting there. And so, you know, it's not really, it's, it's not a big deal, but when I've tried to use DPNs in the past from scratch, like casting on, I just didn't like it, but I just was, I persevered. I said, I'm going to do this. So the hardest thing was just doing that. Um, and cause there's just so few stitches, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm really liking working with DPNs. So is that it? So, and I love this yarn It's so soft and more, it's like, as you knit with it, it gets softer. So there is that. So 
So that's all my works in progress. I think I told you everything about it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the yarn that I bought. So first off, I bought some yarn from Miss Babs. I want to make a sweater. Casapinka came out with a sweater. It's it's a paid for pattern on Ravelry. It's called No Need to Panic Sweater by Casapinka. And um, it calls for, or one of the examples shown on Ravelry was knit with Miss Babs yarn in Yowza. Well, I, the Yowza is, um, I love the Yowza yarn, but I ended up getting the Killington yarn because it is a DK, um, but there's more yardage on the Killington and maybe it's not as soft, but it's okay. So I ended up getting two of these. Look how big these are. So the Yowza's are big skeins and they're like 500 yards or something like that of a DK, but this Killington is also DK and it is, how many yards in this? Oh dear, 700 yards. So I got two of these to knit that sweater. Um, yeah, it's Killington is the base. It is 85% Polworth wool, 15% Tussa silk, at 700 yards, 240 grams. And this colorway is patina. So I got two of these. I do, I do like the Yowza, but I need a bit more yardage. So in this, the price is relatively the same. A few dollars difference. That's a lot of yarn right there. So I may have a new, another new works in progress because I really want to start that sweater. I know it's a lot of works in progress, but as long as you're enjoying yourself and you're having fun, and I don't stress about having all the works in progress, unless there are four people, I don't mind having a lot of them. So I'm probably going to start this soon. So there is that. <clears throat> this Babs. <coughs> and then I went to Michael's because they had 30% off. I know that Michael's is expensive now. You know, it's, the prices have gone up. But I will just say one thing is that when you buy yarn, you get rewards now. So I purchased all this yarn from Michael's. It was 30% off. And then I get, like, I have $30 in rewards. So that's like going in $30 of free stuff. So that kind of balances it out. Plus it was 30% off. So I went and got some more yarn from Michaels because I like this new yarn they have. So I had, I've gotten this before. I showed it before. This is their funnel cakes. I had these exact colors and I want, I got one more of each of these. I, oh, so the, I just think it's beautiful. I love these. I want to make a bag. So this Karen funnel cakes, Karen cotton funnel cakes. And let's see, it is a number four, 100% cotton, 250 grams, 425 yards. And this one is called Golden Rays. And this one here is called um, Buttercup. So now I have two, I have two of these and two of these. I love them. I think, you know, I think it's all the same yardage and everything. Yes. So I got two more of these. And then I got two of these. Is it just... The um, Bernat Forever Fleece Finer. Look at that. So I bought some of this. It's It was white or cream colored. Because uh, at the time when I went, that's all they had out. And now they have a whole bunch of colors. But this, this is so soft. And so I just thought this would be, you know, the white and this. Is it, is it like green? Yeah, I thought they would look so good together in something. I don't know what. I say a blanket, but I, I'm, I'm really bad at making blankets or finishing blankets. Like really bad. So anyway, let's tell you about this. So this is called Zing, that's the color name. 
It's a five bulky, 100% polyester, 280 grams for 385 yards. I love it. I really love it. They had some other cool colors. So I got two, but I only got, I just got two of these. And then, let's see. <clears throat> then I got two more of these. I bought one skein of each of these. And I bought another skein of each of these again. So I already have these yarns, but I only had one of each. And that is the Loops and Threads Baby Delight. So I had previously bought this color. So I went ahead and got another color. And it is, this is 557 yards, 200 grams. And it's a number three light. The color is Rocking Horse. It is 70% um, acrylic, 30% polyamide. So I got that one. And then I also got another one of these. So I have one of these. I got another one. So this is, is all the same. Let me make sure. Yes, it's all the same. And this one is called Tan. I thought these two went really well together. So now I got a lot to make something with. And I don't know what. And it's really soft and it's nice. Uh, let's see. And then, oh, I just love these so much. So I got four of these. I love these. I love this color. Four of these. Evidently, this, is, this isn't this is a new yarn. Or maybe they're new colors or something. I don't know. But I ne I've never had them before. I don't even know if I've ever seen them any seen them but anyway so this is the ice cream roving divigation it's 200 grams 437 yards it's a number four medium 100 percent acrylic i got four of these they're really nice and this is called bit of honey i love them. i'm just like a little bit of a yellow mood when i went to michael's i got four of these I love, I love, I love this color. I was like, that's the whole reason I went into Michael's. I was like, I have to get this color. I just love it. And they only had four. I would have gotten more. And then the last one I got is, that's not a good one to show. Here we go. Nope, that's not good either. Here we go. As I got this four of these. So it's the same yarn. The same yarn. And this one is called Licorice. Licorice. I love them. Oh, I don't know. I've got them. I want to make sweaters for my grandkids with these. That's what I want to do. That's what I'd like to do. Who knows? So there, that's, yep, yeah, everything's the same on it. And I got four of those. So I love these yarns. So I did spend a bit of money there. Well, it was 30% off. I thought I got a good deal. Or I thought it was a good, 30% off was real good. And then at the end, I got a rewards card for until like May 5th, it expires for $30. So that's, I think that's kind of, that's kind of, I like that. So that kind of helps. With the fact that the yarn is so expensive. Everything's expensive. So, as you get that, it's like you get... So, whatever you paid, you can kind of minus $30 off of it. Because you're going to go back in there and get more stuff. I am. For, like, getting, like, free stuff. So, I was quite happy with that. So, another thing that I bought is some more knitting needles. I really, really liked... I really am liking using those DPNs. I can't even believe it. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll knit some socks with DPNs. So I went ahead and got some DP, uh, DPNs to knit socks. So these are 2.25 millimeter, and these are the Knitter's Pride Zing. And I'll tell you, I went through, because um, I don't have a lot of DPNs. I do have, I have a lot of wooden ones. But I did buy some of these high, high sharps one time to knit this. It's like a, 
a hat with like, you know, like the um, sleeping hats with the long tail that comes down. So I bought these and I really liked them. And I, you know, I love high highs, but they are sharp. And I was really concerned about getting high highs this small. I have knitting needles, high high knitting needles, uh, 2.25 knitting needles. And they're extremely sharp. And I just thought, well, four, five, and they're that sharp. I thought, oh, I don't know. Because <clears throat> even though I do love the high highs, I realize they're not for every every project. Sometimes they're just not really convenient. And then I didn't really want to get the chow goos. Um, I didn't want to get any more wooden ones. And so I thought, I'm going to try these. And they look just just sharp enough. So I don't know when I'll start it. I don't know. I don't think I'll start another pair of socks now. Um, but next I am going to tr attempt to make socks with, um, DPNs because I'm really, I really love that project I'm working on with DPNs using them. Yep. So that's, that is all that I bought. So guys, um, that is all I have to show you. This went an hour long. If you are still watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to show you. Just remember, go check out the giveaway. I will leave a link to it down below. And I will try to leave a link to all of the things I talked about that I can. And I will try my hardest not to delete this video. Oh my goodness. I will, uh, so I will try, that's because I do everything on my phone and, you know, I do have an, um, Apple, I have a MacBook Pro, but I do not know how to use it and it would be a lot easier if I used, you know, if I did, obviously I'm going to film on my phone, but if I did everything else on that, because I do everything else, if I do any editing or, you know, when I add descriptions and that, I do it all on my phone and everything's so little and small and you know it would be much easier to do it on the the computer but i don't know how to use that computer at all i don't i've always used windows and i'm confused and my husband does not like apple products so he's not much of a help so anyway so but i'm not going to delete this i promise and i'm just like gabbering on here i've got the I got the motor mouth going. So, at any rate, that's it, guys. Go check out the giveaway, and I hope you all have a fantastic week. And until then, um, I will see you soon, and goodbye for now.